So about four or five days ago, I was chilling with my girl at the time in my new fifth wheel. It's a 37 footer, pretty good size. Um, just got it so I could do my TikToks and more privacy and kind of just uh, waiting for me to get away and do my work. Um, but it's also pretty nice. It's livable, um, et cetera. So uh, we were chilling in it and it started raining. So I left the lawnmower outside earlier that day and I realized that. So I wanted to move it in the garage. The garage was closed. Um, the doors were all locked. My old man had the doors all locked. So I decided to put it under the front of the fifth wheel. So I put my headlamp on. Uh, I got a flashlight in my hand as well, a brand new flashlight I bought that day. And I move it under the fifth wheel. And I bend down to pick up a rake in front of the tractor. And as I get back up, there's my neighbor with a 12 gauge pointed at me. Plain as day, um, 12 gauge break action with a hammer cocked, pointed right at me. So I'm, who, what's going on over here? He says, I go, Mark, what the, Mark, it's Kyle. Mark is his name. I'm flipping out. Mark, what the fuck are you doing? It's Kyle. I don't give a fuck who it is. What's going on over here? You know, and me, me saying his name, I thought, well, God, he shouldn't recognize who it is. It's me. We get along great. Um. Yeah, I mean, there was really, we've never had any issues in the past, uh, but I'm flipping out. I'm waiting to get shot. I am waiting. I can't, I can't, I'm just waiting for the sound and I'm waiting for the, uh, you know, in my gut or try and dodge it or something. I mean, dodge bullets, right. Um, but I was going to do the best I could. Uh, but he, it, see, the thing is, he's a little like maybe socially awkward, I guess you'd say. So, it was kind of even scarier yet because of this. I didn't know what he was quite capable of. Um, he's a good guy, but I never guessed him to do this. Uh, so I'm sitting there yelling his name, moving and trying. He's he's waving that sucker. He's keeping it right on me. So I finally like kind of squeeze. I like squeeze my way behind this little pole in my yard. This t the electric pole. It's not very big, not not a full size, but a little one for a yard. And I'm hiding behind this motherfucker. And then my girl opens the door and it kind of breaks his tension up for a second. And he looks as if he's going to move his gun to her. And I just tell her, get back inside, get back inside. So she gets back inside and Mark finally takes the gun off me after his wife, while his wife comes outside is what happened. And I yell, I yell at her, he's got a fucking gun on me. What the fuck? You know? So he pulls the gun off me, off of me. Part two for the rest of my neighborly encounter.